Hi, and uh, welcome back. Uh, now I'm actually going to run through the installation of the software version of Logger. Uh, I'm actually going to do a version 6, uh, the beta version, uh, just because it's got some uh, new features in it with regards to the front end and interface. Uh, but the installation process is the same uh, for the other versions as well. What I wanted to do is actually wanted to illustrate uh, the ease and simplicity of the installation process so that we can actually just see how how very straightforward the whole installation is just to get it up and working, get some log data in there and, and see what we're doing. So uh, there are some prerequisites that we need to go through to make sure that we can we can do this. Uh, for example, we need to set up a, a, a non-root user. We need to make sure that we've got a license file and there's some, some initial settings with regards to uh, some of the information around uh, a number of files, a number of processes, some, some prerequisites we need to do. I've already done that. It's actually very well documented in the installation guide. Uh, once we've done that, then we can literally just launch uh, the, the, the binary file to do the installation. The installation doesn't actually take very long. Uh, there are some sections where I will uh, speed it up uh, as part of the recording so you don't have to wait for it to finish, uh, but uh, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, what we're doing now is we're just running the install, so we're unpacking the installer itself, ready to run the JRE. Uh, and there we go. There's the uh, there's the install. I'm actually going to do the graphical install this system this, the, for this system rather than the command line. Although the command line works perfectly well, I just wanted to show some nice pretty graphics. So installation. Uh, we can just step through this. I need to accept the license terms. So we accept those. And next, it's checking the prerequisites, making sure that's okay, which is fine because I've I've checked that before. It's going to ask for the installation directory. Uh, we always tend to put things into the slash opt folder on a Linux platform here. Uh, but actually, I want to put it into the arc site folder for a, a bit more of a consistency there. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it'll actually then go into the logger folder from there. Uh, but it's self-contained. It's it, Everything goes into that single folder. So we can just click next there. It's checking the available disk. Uh, we're going to make sure we've got a license file. So I actually do have a license file. And it's in my folder. And there's the license file. Open that. And next. And then we perform the install. Uh, part of the installation is, is unpacking and running through the script, making sure that we get all the executables and everything set up as part of that process. Uh, it's actually very straightforward as well. Uh, at this particular point, we don't need to do any additional configuration or setup. It will actually ask me in a second with regards to uh, default port numbers uh, and the user that we want to use for the running of the service, and if we want to run it as a service as well. Uh, after that process, it will then go through and it will set up the uh, the disk space, the database, and get it all pre-configured and ready to run uh, as part of that installation process. It's actually very simple and straightforward, but we're just waiting for this bit to finish. Uh, so it will speed up a slight uh, just while we're doing that uh, particular process. So there we go. It's finished the uh, at the setup of the software. So now we need to give it the username, which I'd already set up. Configure to register as a service. Click next. I can change the language uh, if I want to to different uh, different language sets, but actually I just want to stick with English for the moment. Uh, and now it'll go ahead and it'll initialize everything. So it, as I said, it's going to actually set up the database, uh, get everything set and running with regards to that, run the software, set up the receivers to receive log data on a number of uh, standard ports, services and locations, uh, and get everything uh, up and working with regards to that. Okay, and now we're ready. Uh, having uh, finished the whole setup process, we can actually carry on doing the final bit of the configuration. So the install is now complete. Uh, what I can do is I can see the URL there. I just hit click and done and finish the installer. What I will quickly do is just have a quick look at the web interface just to make sure everything's working okay. Uh, 10.0.0.31, which is the IP address. Uh, whoops, if I get the HTTPS, come on. 
slash slash thirty one. Uh, it's untrusted from a connection because it's the first time connected and it's got its own certificate. So I, I just add the ex exception for that, confirm, uh, and there we go. I can log in for the first time. Uh, default username and password. Note that is not the local w uh, operating system password. That's a system password for logger. Uh, you have to change that accordingly. And we can see we're up and working. Uh, most importantly, uh, just to note a couple of quick things here, if I actually just uh, have a look at the uh, storage volume, uh, it's all been pre-allocated. So we can see that it's all been set up, uh, the location of the data, uh, database itself, uh, all the storage um, parts for the database have also been configured, uh, and also we all we have a number of uh, receivers automatically configured as well so we can see that we have uh, some standard log files uh, and messages we have uh, some message receiver from a smart connector but we'd also receive uh, UDP messages automatically so some are disabled and we can just re-enable those as, as we need to uh, but as you can see we can receive uh, smart connector messages we can receive uh, UDP uh, everything set up ready to go uh, and it literally is just a case of just feeding that log data in and we're done it is that simple as you can see the installation does not take very long it is very straightforward and there's no additional steps required from this initial point now we can actually start getting some data in and running some searches and some dashboards uh, that's a very quick run through of the installation process for logger 6.0 software version uh, just running through the graphical interface thank you